to uh, Hadoop Summit. This is the heart of Silicon Valley. It's kind of quieting down. This is the last wrap up. We have uh, Coronas on the set. <laughs> Actually, not endorsed officially a sponsor, uh, but uh, part of placement. Could, right? They could be. We'll pay. <laughs> Talk to Jeff Frick. He'll be happy to. to get out. If, there's no official beer yet of the Cube, so we're always interested <laughs> hey, being the. Uh, it could be your beach. ESPN of tech, you know. <laughs> Cold hard facts, Budweiser, Corona, whatever. <laughs> We love to drink beer, but not necessarily in the cube. We're here to wrap up the new summit. I'm John Furrier, Dave Vellante. John Kreisa is in the house. Um, John, welcome back to the cube. Thanks. Um, end of the show. Yep. So let's talk. What's what happened? What's your take on uh, what transpired? Yep. What went right? Yep. What surprised you? What yep. came out of the woodwork? Yeah, yeah. So uh, thanks for having me back on. Good to see you guys. Yeah. Um, so, you know, great energy again at the conference, right? I think just sort of at the top level, we're super excited with how things went, you know, as a host or co-host with Yahoo. Um, you know, tremendous attendance, great buzz at the show. Um, I think there's a couple different themes that were coming through kind of very clearly, both in terms of what the, um, you know, sponsors were talking about, what the speakers were talking about. Um, one overarching theme that was really very clear to us um, was that Hadoop is really you know, cross or crossing that chasm. It's really becoming that key component of the next generation data architecture. And, uh, and, and that's really borne out in the presentations that we saw from uh, the, the speakers here, both in general session as well as in the, uh, you know, in the breakouts. So that, that was one kind of core theme. Another is that, that Hadoop itself, Hadoop 2.0, is really going to be driven around the YARN architecture, right? And the fact that uh, it's Yarn is going to enable a bunch of new kinds of workloads. It's really going to open up the platform for a broadening of how it's used in the enterprise. So we're very excited about that. We had the, there was an enterprise panel today, which you, you may have caught, where they were talking about the implications and importance of you know, being able to run multiple workloads on that panel. Um, and we heard it from an ecosystem panel we had today. We had a bunch of different vendors on the panel. And they were also talking about what it meant to their business in terms of being able to integrate more deeply with the Hadoop platform. So I called it, I uh, said so we're talking to Herb earlier, and we called it the, uh, the, the Yarn Love Fest. Love which Fest. The, thing is, the reason I love it so much is because it's not a single vendor announcing a product. You know, we go, yeah. we go to a lot of these shows and it's just, you know, amazing marketing and right. thrust into your face about this new product. And this is the community bringing it forth, and that's yeah. that's what's exciting to me. Yeah. Is uh, everybody's happy about this? You know, yeah. it's not just one single vendor leading right. the charge. You yeah, no, it's across the board. Yeah. It was really. I, I think mean, everybody realizes what the importance yeah. of that is. So we platform. so we heard a lot on the cube. We'll just share with you some of the highlights today. And, and I think the theme here throughout the the cube was obviously the enterprise grade cut everyone's attention. Some people yeah. were poo pooing it, saying they were enterprise grade before you know now. And what does mm -hmm. that really mean? And um, but, but ultimately, there's three major themes that are, the three major focus areas that people are all looking at. Obviously, number one, engineering. Mm -hmm. People are looking for more and more engineering talent, mm -hmm. platforms under massive construction. Yep. There's a lot of demand for developers. Mm -hmm. The platform is out there. So, being 100% open, having the platform be robust and industrial strength, right. and be ready. Yep. Two, growth. Field Salesforce, consultancy, we had Silicon Valley Data Science on, a consultancy, Accenture guys, uh, two companies, training and subscription mm -hmm. support. So, a lot of field activity, a right. lot of sales, motions, yep. kind of a growth. That's the business value conversation. And finally, three, the third thing was the partnership angle. You mentioned the ecosystem, mm -hmm. both in the communities of the coders mm -hmm. and also the, on the commercial side. So again, right. those are the three common areas. Yep. That seems where all the dollars are focused. Right. Um, you seeing the same thing? Yeah. I mean, I, I would agree with that. I, you know, for example, there's 68 uh, sponsors here at the conference, right? So just a record number. You know, huge growth off of last year. Just really shows the ecosystem rallying around this technology from a, you know, from a, a, a wide set of, uh, of areas and you know, up and down the stack, everything from storage vendors, compute vendors, um, all the way up to the analytics vendors. So this is all here talking about and trying to talk about how they integrate with the platform, the importance of them, what they contribute to that as an ecosystem. And, and really, the other thing that there were a lot of here were kind of I'll say more traditional enterprises, right? You saw practitioners, um, data management specialists, architects, and the like, more than ever here trying to learn about Hadoop, talk about Hadoop, just get into the community. That's part of the growth that we're seeing in the conference. Yeah, and you know what? I want to just say thanks to you guys for supporting us here as a sponsor. Sure. Um, we've had a lot of other sponsors support. Obviously, Cloudera helped us a little bit with Squirrel. We had Nutanix, uh, MapR, a bunch of others coming in, Hadapt. Just kicking in to support the mission of theCUBE, and yep. just want to say thank you for yep. all your support. Thank you guys. You know, Horton versus been uh, 
been a great company to work with. Certainly support the Cube. This is the biggest Cube stage we've ever had here. <laughs> um, it's massive. Think, you know, it's, it's really massive. Big. And, and uh, <laughs> Denise, shout out to Denise. <laughs> <laughs> Hooked us up again. But again, this is the way the Cube works. And a lot of people were thankful yeah. for the Cube. So just, they love the, the media coverage. They love the yeah. in-depth reporting from Wikibon and SiliconANGLE. So really appreciate it. Thank you for enabling us to cover it. Hey, you're welcome, man. We love having you guys here. It's great coverage of the conference. It really amplifies and helps everybody get the message out to the community. Those who may not be able to join, they're able to you know, check it out and, and sort of get the vibe and the feel from, from you know, listening to you guys and talking to you guys. All the videos will be on YouTube, so you're watching youtube.com slash siliconangle. All the videos are on demand. I got to ask you, uh, the only complaint I heard here in the summit was, it's freaking freezing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Go I mean, outside, is there an it's AC? like 90 degrees. Is there like an air, air hey, you conditioning? You were sitting under like a cold <laughs> blast yeah, up there. On the Twitter sphere, there's actually- don't bring a jacket, you know? <laughs> you know. I always look at the Twitter sphere. We, you know we mine the Twitter sphere, so I have the little, we have solar search on our, on our platform about a year and a half now. We shipped that a while ago. Um, we search for the word fail. There's only one tweet with the word fail in it. That's like, it must be 50 degrees in this room. <laughs> that wasn't from Dave Vellante either. <laughs> yeah, that was one of you guys did. Literally it. the only was complaint. It Jeff Kelly, that guy. Right <laughs> it was the only complaint we've heard, but a great show. You guys had a great execution that here. Fantastic. Um, fantastic venue, a lot of space, yeah. a lot of networking. Yeah. What so surprised you? Good. Um, I mean, I think, it's, it, I think generally speaking, just that, the, not a surprise, but really just the continued energy as things continue to grow, and yet the energy continues to, to be there with uh, the interaction with the ecosystem. And we had um, like a, d a design cafe here this year, kind of one of the new things that we added. Um, and that was a place where kind of the technologists who really wanted to dig into one particular issue could go and get together. So I walked by there multiple times and they're in there kind of sitting, seated in beanbag chairs, somebody up at the board, you know, scribbling out some solutions. It was great to see that and I think that just sort of shows, you know, that there's still kind of the, the tech edge here around Hadoop and around the associated technologies. So that was really good. Um, and I think just the, the, you know, the overall feel and vibe. I mean, people were really kind of rallying around the technology and continue to, to, to drive it forward. It was a good balance this year. There wasn't so much a lot of commercialization, but you had the vendors out here who were in business to make money and create business value. Obviously, you mentioned the sponsors and the booths were very, uh, very well attended, all the big names are here. Yep. But also there wasn't, there wasn't a land grab to try to, try to commercialize the show. You guys right. had still stayed true to your roots, yeah. to the developers, obviously the engineering side. Is that yeah. still the, was that part of the design? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's, it's still a conference for the community, selected by the community. We still have the track chairs and the, and the uh, committees who select the content for the session. So, you know, it's driven by the community and yeah, we're going to keep it true to those roots and you know, continue to drive that forward. You think so? You think you can fight off the suits? For the conference <laughs> Am I the only We're going guy with the hoodies. Tie of these things? There'll be plenty of hoodies there's around. A, yeah, but I mean, <laughs> you know, because uh, here's the thing. So, you know, you go to these events and maybe a couple years ago, a lot of tire kickers, a lot of people sort of, what is a dupe? We had uh, LA Children's Hospital on mm -hmm. and he said, Mohammed said, I really heard about who, Hadoop maybe like a year, year and a mm -hmm. half ago. Yeah. And here I am now, we're doing big projects, we're mm -hmm. implementing it, we brought it to our research department, and right. then you're just going to see more and more and more of that. I think numbers are just going to explode. Yeah, and yeah, I mean, I, I don't think that ne necessarily indicates a change or a need for a change in the conference. I think, mm -hmm. um, you know, this is the place where people who want to be in the know about what's happening with Hadoop come. And it is the first and oldest conference, and it will continue to be that, and we'll continue to drive and keep that that vibes. We've already got thoughts on how we're going to continue to evolve it next year and keep it fresh. Um, and, and keep a it a lot of these conferences start like you know the the, the hardcore techies. Yeah. I mean, you remember EMC World in the early days? It was just like you know a thousand mm -hmm. hardcore techies, and we do EMC World every year. It's just this enormous. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean you know, we're, we're I can see similar things happening here. So you got to hang on, John. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm not, not giving it up. <laughs> I mean, we're all Look, we're drinking enough. beers here. Come on. <laughs> 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 we're all old enough to know. I mean, you know, the scene in these uh, the computer industry, for example, when when I you know was in, broke out of college, was building out. Watching an industry get built from scratch really to me is really the most precious thing yeah. I'd say about this ecosystem because right. you know there's always an effort to get ahead of your skis and over commercialize and try mm -hmm. to get that extra squeeze that extra dollar out of it. What's happening here in Hadoop and, and in this inflection point that we've been documenting at theCUBE is this is really an industry being created, a new yeah. industry. And yeah. the people, the tech athletes as we say, they're building this industry and to us, that's what's exciting yeah. is that, and keeping an eye on that, and that's mm -hmm. our goal, right? And you guys have preserved that, so kudos for you. And, and to the folks out there that are trying to learn, this is an industry, it's still early. Yeah. Um, so congratulations. And it's hard to predict what's going to happen. I mean, there's been a lot of discussions, and we were talking last night about 
you know, how many, uh, how many distributions of, of, uh, of Linux there were in right. the early days, and how many there still are, right? Yeah. And so it's a very, look at, the, look at the database market, you know, look yeah. at the, Look at the, the ERP market, very hard to predict sort yeah. of what's going to happen, how it's going to shake out, and ultimately, yeah. John's always talking about business value, it really comes down to how you deliver business value. Yeah. Um, you know. yeah, talk, I about mean, the, uh, talk about the funding, by the way, that was, that was big news. Um, yeah. Obviously, we're at the Forbes Post, but yeah. um, Rob and then Herb and, uh, were talking about it, but I mean, what was the buzz of the show? People were like, hey, congratulations, little yeah. fist pump. And you guys pump. announced before the event, is we that because you just didn't want to suck post. all the air out of the event, right? I mean, is that you'd be uh, respectful to the community? Little, little blog post, yeah. yeah, just wanted to get the news yeah. out there. I mean, little I blog post. No, but you know, <laughs> by the way, no, uh, my point was, we got a $50 million no, in financing, thank you very much. you didn't wait for the event to announce it, right? You didn't announce it at the event, you announced it before the event. That's right. Was that out of respect for the community? You don't um, want to sort of I mean, we had, we had other news or coming. Or you know, yeah. We just wanted to make sure that we got the news out there. People knew it, and yeah. then yeah. led into the other news we had. Yeah. It's, it's a okay. big number. I mean, it's, it certainly takes that rumor acquisitions you, you know, that was been speculating by Kurt Monash, among others out there, saying, hey, you know, Hortonworks might get scooped up. Certainly that yeah. changes the game a little bit and yeah. increases the price of the acquisition. Uh, <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> as we were saying, thank you. And an option yeah. to be independent. I mean, that's a lot of cash. Yeah, I mean, I you know I think we're going to stay true to our strategy, right? We believe that for Apache to do become the next generation um, uh, data platform, we have to continue to contribute back to the community and continue to help that grow and uh, and make sure that uh, Apache Hadoop's an enterprise viable data platform. You know, so. you know, Rob, Rob Bearden said something that really impressed me this on this cube, and you know he's a very impressive guy. It won't guy. be the first time. He's uh, he's a fast <laughs> talker. You know he's got that southern charm. You know he's got, uh, but he no, but he said he said a comment. He's like, we're here to finance. We want to finance not necessarily pay for the community, right. but you know, and it's an investment, not just in Hortonworks, but the community. Right. And I think that is a distinction I think needs to be pointed out that it's not a, I mean, it's self-serving on one hand, but it's at this point saying, hey, you know, we, we're, look, we're stewards. Yeah. We don't mind making an investment. Yeah. You saw that with Intel, like early days in the computer industry. They were financing a lot of the ecosystem indirectly, in some mm -hmm. cases directly. Right. I mean, there's no doubt that the work we do kind of lifts all boats at some level, but, uh, you know, we understand that. It's not going to change our strategy. We're going to continue to in invest in the community and continue to work and contribute everything back to the community because you know, that's what it's going to take to make this technology uh, grow, to make the market grow. I'm sure Rob would have said that, you know, that, that we want to make the market happen as fast as we possibly can and this is the way to do it. So what's next uh, for Hadoop Summit? Obviously you get the European yeah. uh, tour. When's the, those dates of those guys? Yeah, all when set? I was at your office you had the calendar in the back of you. <laughs> yeah. Well, all right, we can yeah, eat one yeah. of those, John. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Uh, very <laughs> handy. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, that's it. You know, this is, this is a wrap. It's been a great event. We'll uh, you know, take a short breather and then start to think about the next event, which yeah. will be Hadoop Summit in Europe. So we're very excited. I haven't uh, kind of sorted out the exact date, but it'll be uh, kind of in the kind of end of Q1, early Q2 time frame, and uh, that'll be a great event, and then at some point we'll also start thinking about the next Hadoop Summit. Fact, so we while we're here, let's there. wrap this up. Let's put it, let's go right to the wrap segment. Dave Vellante, I want to ask you, Dave, as an analyst, you've seen a lot of the events this year, and obviously we've covered now our fourth season of theCUBE. What's your takeaway from Hadoop Summit this year? Well, again, to, uh, to me, John, it was about the practitioners that were here kicking the tires a you know, year, year and a half ago, at, at you know, the Hadoop World and, and, and events like this and, and other conferences that are now actually implementing, they're mm -hmm. driving business value. Uh, we're seeing, you know, it's going to be interesting to see. Merv was on, that was one of the highlights for me, it was Merv's first Gartner mm -hmm. analyst ever on the Cube, the real Cube desk. We right. had like a couple right. of drive-bys with some analysts before, but, but Merv's point was, you know, history is, it, we're destined to repeat the failures of the past where, you know, IT is sort of, you know, not embracing some of these new trends. I, I'm not so sure this time around. I actually think, uh, you know, in, in talking to a lot of the practitioners here and other places, I think they are embracing this, this new movement and I think that we are going to see uh, much more of an alignment between IT and, and business and I think we're seeing it already. So that was actually one of the surprises for me that I took away. The other is obviously you're seeing a whole new wave of, of coopetition in this industry like I've never seen before. Mm -hmm. I mean it took you know, a decade plus for uh, Linux to emerge as it did, and it's not going to take that long, in my view, for you know this whole Hadoop community. It's not you know nearly as long, and and you're seeing, you know, interesting relationships being formed. I think you're seeing the old line, the traditional IT suppliers, uh, really embracing this now, uh, and you know, adopting things that perhaps they would have fought before in mm -hmm. the past, and they're going to try to figure out ways to move up the stack and add value. So those are two of the things that I really that stood out for me, John. How about you? Well, I think, to me, the big, I mean, there's a lot of different conversations that are all on YouTube. We're going to go back and look at the tape. That's <laughs> not technically tape, it's disc <laughs> at this point, but uh, I think, to me, it's, it's pretty clear. If I read the tea leaves, it's 
a call to arms in the community. You're seeing the, the emphasis here is on the platform. I think everyone is realizing that, hey, we got to row in the same direction. Our boats might bump into each other. At the end of the day, it's not high tide yet. The tide is coming in. It's a, it's a, it is a high tide and it will float all the boats, but it's not there yet. The platform needs to get to the finish line. That will increase a massive amount of development in the development community. I call the, the general purpose mainstream developer community. That's not there yet. So I think to me, Dave, my takeaway is, that was the theme, enterprise grade is just kind of a buzzword to highlight the fact that there's massive demand and right now more than ever the community needs to kind of, kind of stick together around this mission of get the platform out there and win. The second observation, Dave, is, is that the solutions that people are talking about that's a business value are not what people think they, they are. They're different, they look different. Uh, we heard Avi talk about omni-channels, meaning there's now multiple different channels for transactional interaction and kind of emotional data. That's just a, an analytics framework. And that the, the startups are going to look different. It's not going to be your grandfather's you know, computer company. It's not going to be that software company. And that that's going to probably confuse the capital market. So I'm, I'm seeing that as the solutions are going to be different, but unique and compelling. And that's going to be a challenge for the investment community, and it's going to be a challenge for the big companies to figure out where they fit. Nutanix, for example. They're disrupting the HP, the IBMs, because their box is essentially, I call it Facebook in a box, they're, they're building the DevOps, God box. That's not a switch. It's just a different type of solution. So again, the solutions might not look the way people thought they were. So platform, and the business value is going to look and be a little bit different. So it's going to make, create more confusion, but at the end of the day, this is a massive growth opportunity, massive opportunity for new solutions, new wealth creation, so I'm really optimistic. Well, and I think the disru disruption is actually going to be quite substantial, and I think you know, companies like Hortonworks and, and Cloudera in, in particular have to be very careful with, with the way in which they position, because they've got big partners, but I think that these big partners like Microsoft, like Oracle, and, and IBM and others, I think they see the disruption coming. I think they realize that you can't keep shoving all this money into the container, yeah. as we like to say, mm -hmm. that there's all kinds of innovation around that. So, so you see the platform companies being very careful about how they position it, its coexistence. I think it's going to be a lot more disruptive than that. And the reason I say this, because when you go inside of IT organizations and in, in enterprises, you're seeing that tension. You're seeing the organizational <laughs> disruption. So, so yeah. I think there's a big tsunami coming the, that the, uh, that, yeah. that we we haven't really focused a lot on because I think that you know we're yeah. trying to be balanced D here. But Dave, I think it's going to be some really game changing. The, the other thing I want to point out on this more of an inside baseball instead of open source community is that I think for the first time in open source history, you're seeing that the smoky backroom deals that go on and kind of the, the brokering of which projects get what traction, who's got what, is going to be changed because the FUD that goes on in competition, the fear, uncertainty, and doubts that's generated by different players and depositioning others, whether it's a big guy or fighting for these, the leadership position, it's all out in the open. And what's really interesting with theCUBE here is that we get to hear all the stories. Mm -hmm. And I think in the open source community with Twitter and with social media, everything is out in the open. And that's why I think you know, our point about the standards bodies being the communities is really a big deal because now, if someone's throwing mud <laughs> at another vendor, it's public. You know, we had uh, a lot of folks on theCUBE and mm -hmm. it's all out there. And you know what? That's good. I like that. I think it's going to be fair game. People will live and die by their own sword if they want to play that way, if they want to be nice and be a good citizen, that's going to be noted as well. So I think that's an interesting dynamic. We'll see how that plays out. Yeah, and I think the, you know, we always talk about cloud, mobile, and social. I think that has changed things so dramatically. And, and that's a, you know, three new variables into the equation that we didn't have to deal with in the past. Everybody likes to look at history and try to you know, project forward, but as we know, past is not prologue, and there are a lot of vari variable dimensions that we haven't yeah. seen before that, that I think are going to yeah. make this really exciting. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. thrilled to be here in theCUBE covering it. A and yeah. as we're saying this, I'm reading the top secret documents from the government from NSA on the, the Guardian oh, website. Speaking <laughs> of. So, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> there are no more secrets. <laughs> John, what's your take hey. on all this? Oh, I mean, I think it's. I think you're right. I think the pace of innovation is, uh, you know, sort of outstripping even what proprietary industry can do this in the open source market, and uh, and I think it will be disruptive. I think it still remains to be seen exactly kind of how and where the disruption occurs. But you know, there's definitely disruption occurring, and there's definitely a movement. You know, Hadoop has sort of cemented its place as 
at the center of the kind of big data revolution, and now we got to just see how the how the whole ecosystem plays out around that. Well, well and too, I want to add, you know, that whole because when we talk, when we say disruption, we, we a lot of people in, infer from that, okay, it means that old line vendors are going to get crushed. And I don't see it that way. I yeah. think I think companies like Oracle and IBM and EMC, I think they're really smart. I think they got a lot of yeah. a lot of cash, and they will spend that money. Maybe they don't spend it most efficiently, but they will go out and grab what they have to to survive. They don't want to be the next Deck Prime, Wang, DG. They understand that, that they killed those companies and, mm -hmm. and their legacy says that they have to survive and I think they will. Yeah. Number one, the other thing I wanted to add, John, is security. That's another big theme that we've heard and that says to me that Hadoop is really coming into the enterprise and I think the other thing is that business value <laughs> is going to trump a lot of those concer security mm -hmm. concerns, but security is going to have to really move yeah. fast to keep up. Yeah. And it's, it's coming. I it's mean, exciting. Exciting. it's exciting time. This is theCUBE. John Chrysler, thanks for having us again. Yeah, Shout absolutely. out to the team. Um, Denise, thanks for having us as well. The entire Horton Works Yahoo teams as well. Mark Hopkins, Kenny, Alex, Jeff Kelly. Guys, thanks, and all the sponsors out there. Without the, the underwriting support to allow us to do our independent analysis and bring theCUBE, we would not be here. Let me give a quick rundown. So obviously Horton Works, you guys, you know, the anchor sponsor, you really appreciate that. Squirrel, Nutanix, H-Streaming, Cubal, Cloudera, Teradata, WAN Disco, Adapt, Mapbar, and Splunk. Really thank you so much for your support and allowing theCUBE to, to happen. And again, John, thank you for having us here and yeah. thanks to Horton Works for thanks, hosting Dave. this conference. Thanks, Dave. Great okay. job, guys. That's a wrap to Hadoop Summit 2013, Silicon Valley Live here in San Jose Convention Center. We'll see you next time. This is theCUBE, Silicon Angle, Wiki Bomb. We'll see you at the next show.